CHL hockey is back, and the opening week of the season for the QMJHL and WHL saw some banners raised, a number retired, rookies making their debuts, and sophomores making an impact. Let's take a look back at the week that was in the CHL. The Q was the only league to crown a champion last spring, which meant the Victoriaville Tigra had opening night to themselves. Raising their second league championship banner, Max Pellerin scored the shootout winner to cap off a memorable night for the Tigra. The night prior, the Q honored Hall of Famer Guy Lafleur by retiring his number four jersey. He joined Sidney Crosby as the only two players to have their jersey retired league-wide. Out west, the East Division champion Brandon Weekings raised their banner on Friday night, but the party was short-lived as the high-powered Winnipeg Ice took a home-and-home -home against a provincial rival by a combined score of 17-3. Sticking out west, with all eyes on phenom Connor Bedard, who put up three goals in his first two games, it was Moose Jaw's Braden Yeager making a statement, potting a hat trick in his home opener. Meanwhile, a pair of Rookie of the Year candidates in Ethan Goche and Tyler Peddle both scored in their CHL debuts, showing why they were the first and second overall picks in this spring's Q draft. Finally, on Thursday, after 19 grueling months, the OHL is back in action. 2020 first overall pick Ty Nelson makes his long-awaited debut with North Bay in the first of three games on the night. See you next week as we take a look back at the week that was in the CHL.